Hi, this is Bill Singleton. Uh, I've been painting in acrylic gouache a lot lately and I get a lot of questions. People are like, what's the difference between gouache and acrylic gouache and acrylic? So today I thought we could uh, look at all three. We can compare and contrast acrylic gouache and acrylic gouache. Today on Bill Paints. Okay, so we're gonna compare gouache, acrylic gouache, and acrylic. So there are a few things these do have in common. One is the drying time. They all dry really fast. So by fast, I mean sometimes you put a mark down and it's dry in 30 seconds. Sometimes, well, it depends on how thick you do it and how wet your brush is, but it can dry in seconds. Uh, sometimes, I, I live in Tucson, and if I'm outside painting sometimes with gouache or acrylic gouache, I mean, you put a stroke down and it's probably dry in five seconds. So if you do it thicker, it'll dry a little slower. <clears throat> the other thing all these three have in common is the medium and the cleanup. It's all water. You, uh, you can thin them with water to thin them down a little bit for washes and the cleanup is in water. So those are the really the only three things they totally all have in common. So we're gonna look at, uh, one of the things we're gonna look at is opacity. So what I found is that gouache is the most opaque. Uh, the acrylic gouache is pretty opaque also. And acrylic tends to be translucent sometimes. Like I'm using these new uh, cadmium free Liquitex color so I think they are a little more opaque we'll find out <clears throat> and we're gonna try it on this that's why I put black stripes in here so we can put some paint over this and see test the opacity of the colors so that's the opacity uh, value shift so with gouache well, with, with all paints there's a little bit of a shift of value and color from wet to dry in other words when you put a stroke down it's wet, it's gonna appear one color. As it dries, it's gonna change slightly. Uh, a lot of times a really light color will dry a little darker. Or sometimes a dark color will dry a little lighter. So with gouache, there's, there's some shift, not, not a lot. Uh, acrylic gouache, of all the paints I've used, it has the least amount of color value shift. So very minimal. Uh, acrylic of these three has the most value shift and it it depends on the color and the value but yeah a lot of times it's confusing you put a stroke down it's wet and uh, it'll dry slightly different than what you're doing so another category is blending how do these compare so gouache you can blend colors uh, and we'll do some of that uh, acrylic gouache you can blend it if the paint is wet or if you use a retarder and the same with acrylic you can only blend it when it's wet or with a retarder and by retarder I mean something like this this is golden retarder and what you do is you can just use this in place of water when you're mixing your paint and it really slows down the drying time and uh, so it makes it workable for a longer amount of time so once again acrylic gouache and acrylic are about the same and basically because acrylic gouache really is acrylic so uh, reworkable so in other words if you paint something and you come back if, and it dries and you come back a few minutes later with a slightly different color and you want to blend into that yes you can do totally do that with gouache and that's probably the main difference between gouache and acrylic and acrylic gouache is that reworkability thing if if there was if I had to say the one difference between the two or between the three it would be this gouache is reworkable acrylic gouache and acrylic they're basically waterproof so once they dry once the paint dries it's waterproof nothing's gonna uh, you can't adjust it or change it or anything you can paint over it but you can't adjust it uh, the last thing is the final finish so with gouache one thing I like about it and a lot of illustrators over the years have loved is that it's got a matte finish um, Acrylic has a semi-gloss finish depending you could put mediums in to make it less glossy and stuff But I've had they don't really look good. It's it's basic what it likes is a semi-gloss kind of finish uh, And what I like about acrylic gouache is that it's basically acrylic, but it has that matte finish and 
basically once it's dry you cannot tell the difference between acrylic, acrylic gouache and, and regular gouache just from looking at it. Uh, the only way you could tell is probably if you got a wet brush and stroked into it. If you did, if you stroked into acrylic gouache that was dry with a wet brush, nothing would happen. You just wet the paper. If you do that with gouache, it's going to re-wet the paint. So that being said, let's try some here. So let's try first the opacity. So some acrylic. Acrylic wash. Now these aren't the exact same colors because I'm not even sure what pure red amounts to. And I don't even know what this new cadmium red or cadmium free red. I don't know what the chemical basis of that is. It's probably a trade secret because they just came out with that. And this is uh, regular gouache here. So start out with the gouache. This this red looks a little bit transparent, translucent. So you can see depending on how thick I go here. If I do a thin stroke, it's fairly translucent. If I do a thicker one, Getting a little more opacity there. Wash my brush out. Now let's try it with the acrylic gouache. So in this case, I don't think we're dealing with the exact same colors here. Uh, same pigment, I should say. It's red, but this is probably a different pigment. Um, this one was actually pretty opaque. So this is the acrylic gouache. And if we go a little thicker here, yeah, it totally covers that black. So you can't even see where the seam is on the black here. So that's acrylic gouache. Let's try the, the uh, acrylic. So this is the new cadmium free. The thing about cadmiums, why artists loved them like in the 1800s, is that they're very opaque. And these are opaque, although this isn't really cadmium. Um, cadmium is really toxic, so I don't use it at all. But uh, Liquitex just came out with this new formula, which is cadmium free, and it looks like it's really opaque. So on my paper, I had written that gouache was the most opaque and acrylic is the least opaque. <laughs> and with these colors here, that's not really showing. It, it also depends on the color. Like this red here is, looks like it's a very opaque red, obviously. Uh, this red here may not be. I'm not sure what they're using for their pigment. So in this case, uh, the uh, results are kind of varied. So now let's talk about blendability here. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. So this is um, gouache. And this is acrylic gouache. And this is acrylic. Once again, the cadmium free color. So, all right, so this is still a little bit of wet. Let's try here. Let's see how blendable this is. So you can see where it's wet. I'm starting to get a little bit of blending. So you can blend acrylics if they're wet enough. Now this, we haven't had time for this to dry. 
and I am in Tucson and it's dry here except right now it's actually a thunderstorm overhead so the trends the uh, humidity is really high right now so these are taking a little longer to dry but you see how this one's a little more transparent or translucent I should say this yellow see how you can see through the black now if I do go a little thicker here it's not bad not bad now the other thing I mentioned is retarder so let's just put a drop of this down so I can show you how that works and with this retarder so we can come in with this yellow here mix it in and I get some of this red here and mix it and with this retarder it gives it more open time so it's taking much less time to dry tell you what let's move into a white area here so you can get a better idea so this keeps it wet longer so that you can blend it it also I might have put a little too much made it a little too diluted but you get the idea So if you want to want your uh, colors to be open or dry a little slower, try some of this retarded uh, retarder medium. A little bit more yellow here. So now you can see how how those are blending. And if you work really fast, you can do that without using the retarder medium, but otherwise, uh, use that. It'll slow things down. So let's try this uh, acrylic gouache here. So it's not bad for opacity. Looks like it covers pretty well. Uh, the thinner I go, of course, you can see the black under it if I go a little thinner with it. So, not too bad. If I go a little thicker, you can see where it, pretty, it covers pretty well. Now, you can go a little thicker with your paints if you're using acrylic or acrylic gouache. You can't really paint too thick with gouache, and the reason is, is uh, the basis, uh, the medium that it's made out of is, is gum arabic. So if you, paint it, if you paint too thickly with it, it will crack and break off. Um, both acrylic gouache and acrylic are the base is uh, acrylic uh, polymer. So you can paint a little thicker and not having to worry about it cracking and peeling off here. So as far as mixing, you can see that this red is dry, so uh, I can paint right over it and it's not going to pick it up at all. But if I go into these wet areas here, looks like it's still a little wet here, I can mix a little bit here. So, and once again, you can use the same retarder medium with the acrylic wash if you want to slow down the drying time. So let's try the gouache now. So yellows are like the worst for opacity, I found. And this one you can see it's not very opaque but now these are dry here this red is dry remember this is the gouache here but now watch what happens if I go quickly over the gouache nothing happens really but if I go slowly over it let's go to an area here I can st I'll start lifting up that red now see how the reds lifting up and the red is now mixing into the yellow so now I'm getting this orange color and that's because even though this gouache was dry here that's the difference in the gouache is that it's reworkable so that even though you have a dry like this is totally dry here it's dry so now I'm going over this with this yellow here this is gouache so you can go like that and do an overlay or if you get a little bit wetter or you rub into it a little bit you're gonna start mixing that color back up 
and that's the one thing you can do with gouache that you can't do with acrylic <coughs> acrylic or acrylic gouache and actually acrylic gouache is basically acrylic so these two are really acrylic so this is the main difference right here is being able to re-wet something and go back into it and see I'm re-wetting this this red with the yellow and I'm getting an orange color now so that you cannot do at all with uh, acrylic or acrylic gouache so if I put this yellow here go into this red no matter how much I scrub and rub it it doesn't mix it's dry so basically the main difference <clears throat> in gouache and acrylics and acrylic gouache is that gouache is rewettable <clears throat> and it will always be rewettable if I came back in 20 years uh, with this color and put some yellow into this red here it would lift up again too so gouache is permanently rewettable <clears throat> acrylic gouache and acrylic are permanently non rewettable they they dry waterproof so once they dry they're they're set for life it'll always be that way so in a nutshell those are the main differences differences yeah differences between uh, gouache acrylic gouache and acrylic so thanks for watching I'll be uploading some more stuff soon so make sure you hit the like button and please subscribe thanks a lot bye